With the table and the base now upside down, I was able to get the cross braces in place where I wanted them. The two end cross braces are positioned so that they butt up against the inside of the table base and also positioned so that they keep that base centered along the length of the table and also stop the table sliding on those um, on the uh, base because the table is not going to be permanently attached to the base. Also the cross braces to allow for expansion across the width of the table I did a couple of things with the cross braces first of all they're not glued in place and secondly the clearance holes in the brace for those screws are oversized larger than what I normally would do the countersunk holes are flat because I used a force in the bit and together with um, a flat washer and flat head screws hopefully there's, there can be a little bit of movement between the um, table and the cross brace also uh, at the end of the table here I've added these little tabs onto the cross brace that helps keep the table centered across the width of the table as well Next job is to fix these small uprights onto the um, cross stretcher. They just provide a little bit of support to the underside of the table. Even though I drilled these holes out with a 25mm force and a bit, the 25mm shop bought dowel uh, didn't fit, it was too loose, so that was no good. As you can see there, not exactly the right size. So I thought to myself, if I go through my vast collection of hole saws, maybe I could find an appropriately sized one that if I used it similar to like a plug cutter, so by taking out the center drill and just using the hole saw in the drill press, maybe I could cut some plugs out of these scrap bits of Oregon that I have. That would be just the right size for the holes on the table leg. So I've come up with this one. It's a 30 mil um, hole saw, but the inside measurement is very close to about 26 millimeters. So we'll cut a few out and see how we go. So as you can see, those plugs work perfectly. Next it was time to start applying finish to the table, so I gave it a quick sand, make sure it was dust free, and then I applied a clear water-based polyurethane varnish with a sprayer, firstly on the bottom of the table. After the first coat, gave it a quick sand with some uh, 320, and applied a second coat, only gave two coats on the bottom because I wasn't going to see much wear and tear to be honest. With the underside dry, I gave the top quick sand and applied the exact same finish to the top. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, video that. Sprayed the clear varnish onto the base and the table was pretty much done. <laughs> 